morning. It is a lovely, beautiful, foggy morning, and uh, I couldn't be happier. It's a nice, cool temperature. It's not m miserably hot and humid yet, but it'll get there. And it's already pretty humid. At least it's not miserable. So, uh, we're going to take a stroll through the wealthy people neighborhood because the people building the new house uh, seemingly are not working today, which is nice. So, it's pretty quiet over here. And since we haven't been over here in a month or so, I figured we'd walk down this way. So, where are we headed? Well, this is what they have built in the last year or so. And uh, it's coming along pretty good. As you can see, it's quite sizable. It's going to fit right in here with uh, the wealthy people neighborhood. Now, I notice many of you who live in nice suburbs and bigger cities, this isn't anything to you guys. But for a, for a poor little hillbilly like me, it's, these are pretty big houses over here. So, like four times the size of my little house. Anyway, I'd like to remind you, uh, my uh, patriotic go-free camping trip is coming up in October. It's still, you know, about two and a half, three months away. Um, and I want to let you guys know, uh, again, there's a 20-person hard limit. I don't want to have more than 20 at any of my events. It's just beyond that's way too many for one person to manage, and I want to keep them small. So uh, I know that some of you on Twitter have already expressed uh, a desire to claim a spot. I know that two of you guys I met at the Old Glory Club meetup a month or so ago uh, said you wanted to come. So hopefully you see this and you reach out to me. Uh, if you want to claim a spot for my lovely East Tennessee camping trip at a beautiful park, a beautiful lakeside park, I should say, to uh, see the changing of the leaves and all that, and uh, just spend a whole weekend enjoying nature and fellowship, if that sounds fun to you, you got to reach out and let me know and claim a spot. Now, I don't know the exact date yet. The exact date I will know sometime in August, uh, maybe early September. I like to wait to choose the weekend that according to the uh, the available uh, weather and leaf change data, I like to pick the weekend that's at the perfect spot to uh, to, to view the, the changing of the leaves. So it'll probably be the second or the third weekend in October. And it's in East Tennessee, like I said, just off of Interstate uh, I-81. It's not that far and it's not very hard to get to. So if you would like to come be a part of that, reach out to me, like I said, let me know social media is in the corners here uh, you can reach out to me on that you can join my open telegram group you can send me an email to yes the eunuch no spaces uh, at protonmail.com that's the business email now i haven't checked it since last week i've uh, been busy and hadn't felt like messing with it but uh, generally i check my email every two or three days so that's a good way to get a hold of me especially for uh, important work stuff so that is the intro of the video now what are we going to talk about today we're going to talk about something that's kind of sad. Like I have been talking about lately. I've been trying to change myself. I've been trying to let go of this constant culture war in my head so I can actually create again, so I can write or draw or enjoy my friends and, and actually try to enjoy life instead of just being cranked about the culture war and white erasure 24-7. I'm having trouble with that, man. Like, a couple uh, last week I told you guys that... I went to visit some friends of mine that I hadn't seen in a very long time. They invited me to come back and hang out and watch them play Age of Sigmar, which is uh, it's uh, the, the new version of uh, Warhammer Fantasy, right? So at the big, uh, at the big gaming store that uh, we have all been using for like 30 years, they invited me and there was like 20 or 25 people there doing Battletech and Age of Sigmar and Hero Clicks and, you know, your usual tabletop gaming nerd store stuff. And again, I went and hung out with them all day. I was there like maybe three and a half, four hours before I left. And, uh, man, I have to tell you, it's not feeling good. I feel like an alien. Like, these people, they act and talk like the last 15 years hasn't happened. They act like the young and the old. The, the, like, some of them are a little older than me, like, you know late 40s, early 50s, and a lot of the people there are in their 20s. And nobody in the store talked about politics. Nobody in the store acted like anything was different than it was 15 or 20 years ago. Everybody just talked and laughed and like everything was great and everything was fine. And that is so alien to me now that it was like I was in the wrong place. 
and I really have, I think, sabotaged my ability to enjoy anything. I have messed myself up, and I was already a mess to begin with, I think. You know, I think a lot of people that are driven to be content creators that are not just out for money and attention and, you know, pushing the dopamine button by being a content creator. I think a lot of us that, that come to content creation because things are wrong, we're already messed up, myself especially. I was already a messed up person with a lot of problems and a lot of rage, a lot of anger issues. I, Like I said, I had a life of bad mistakes, degeneracy, sexual degeneracy. Uh, I considered myself transgender for several years, which of course I'm glad I rejected and all of that. Like, I am really glad that I rejected and didn't embrace like the, the evil anti-white camp of like ideology and stuff. But it, that sickness, that poison still lives in me and I hate myself for it. I hate that I was ever hoodwinked into the stuff I was hoodwinked and pulled into. I have been bitter and angry at society, at my family, at everything for so many years. And starting in Gamergate era, that really started to boil in me and just make me just unable to think about or focus on anything else other than just my rage, my anger at feeling betrayed and tricked and mind warred by my own government, by my own corporations, by evil people in my own race, and my own ethnicity. And of course, other people of other ethnicities too. But we're not going to go into that. Um, but it's just... I have, I have been so angry and so obsessed with wanting to right the wrongs that I felt like personally hurt me. That it's consumed me. And that's what led me to making content. That's what led me to being a content creator. And I've been talking to my husband about it. And he said that long before I was even a content creator, like going back to the, the early teens, like when Gamergate really started, he said back then I already started to not be able to do art, to not paint and draw, that when it came to me creating for my D&D games and my science fiction games and stuff, he said that I haven't really done that since like 2011, 2012. And that I started to lose myself to this years and years before I was a content creator. And I've had a couple of really long, sad talks with my husband lately. And he misses who I used to be. And I miss who I used to be too. I miss waking up every day thinking about an artwork piece I'm working on. Whether it's a big, beautiful sci-fi tank model that I bought, or whether I'm painting some character art for a beautiful fantasy game, or whether it's me making a beautiful landscape with watercolors that I used to do. I also used to write a lot. I used to write a lot of fiction. Not like gay slash fic sex shit that you read online, but like I used to create stories and campaigns, entire worlds, campaign settings. I would storyboard, well, if I wrote a novel about so-and-so, this is what it would be. My mind used to be full of that stuff. It was in my mind when I went to bed. It was in my mind when I woke up. And that's what my life was about. Was talking to my friends about cool, make-believe, creative stuff. And I went to work. I paid bills. I wasn't a an irresponsible neat that just lived on my mom's couch. No. I've always worked and made my own money and made my own way in life. So I wasn't really a loser. It was just, I can't have children. I probably shouldn't try to be a parent because I'm so messed up, especially along the lines of gender. So I knew that being a parent wasn't in the cards for me. And I'm, I surrounded myself with people who I thought were good people. Like the friends I just recently started to go hang out with again. They're both family men. One of them's got four kids. One of them's got two. Their kids seem to have turned out mostly all right. One of them's a screw up, but I won't, I won't spill the beans on that one. But they're good people. But I still feel like an alien to them. And it's my own fault. All that stuff I used to be passionate about and that used to define me that I would wake up passionate about to write or to paint or to create or to think about rule systems and, and test new RPG books and new card games and stuff with my husband and his friends or go, the friends that I'm now meeting again. We used to like to try out new games and stuff. Well, all that's gone. It's all gone. 
That's not even in me anymore. I never think about it. I don't care about it. I wish I did, but I just don't. I don't care about anything except this goddamn war that we're stuck in. Every day, I wake up thinking about it. Every night, I go to bed worrying about it. Every week on Monday, I spend hours and hours of my day looking through the news, trying to catch up with what's going on in this cursed, evil culture we live in. And I try to find a way to work with that for my stream on Monday night. And then I would work with Chris, brilliant, intelligent Chris that has a lot to say about the empire of lies. And I have to work with him. And I have to think about that. All of this, this consumes my mind. And it has overwritten every part of me that I used to like or that used to bring me joy. And I have to face the music now that I have become a joyless person. When I used to be exuberant all the time, I used to laugh and sing and just jump up and dance for no reason. I used to write stories about love and romance and heroism. And that's all fucking dead in me now. It's gone. I got out a couple of my old spiral bound notebooks that I used to write stories in, that I used to storyboard for D&D campaigns. I didn't even remember writing it. It was like someone else wrote it. I flipped through page after page of stuff I wrote between 10 and 15 years ago. I didn't even recognize it. It, it brought in me this sick, self-loathing rage. Like a look at, like, like if, if, you, if like I, I was a parent looking at the body of a child, of my child, that my negligence killed. That was the feeling that came over me. And so I started pulling out other things. Artwork that I used to make. Paintings, drawings, sketches of alien creatures or beautiful alien landscapes or interesting monsters that I used to draw and sketch for D&D. I pulled those things out. I barely remembered them. I didn't remember what pens or inks or paints I used to make them. I didn't remember what was going on in my head or the imaginative process that led to me making it. It's all gone. Overwritten by this war and shit like this. All of this culture war stuff, me being a content creator, me trying to figure out what was going on before I was a content creator, me getting involved with all of the, the online uh, dissident people, whether it was Poll on 4chan or Sargon of Akkad's liberalists on Facebook, joining the great meme offensive uh, to help Donald Trump get elected and all that shit. All of that stuff, these last 10 to 11 years, has consumed me. It has overwritten what I was, the joyous person I used to be. Now, now I'm joyless. I'm just fraught with worry and rage, impotent rage, at the wrongdoings done to me personally by this ugly anti-white culture and thinking about all the wrongs being done to others. And I'm impotent to do anything about it. I'm in a bad place. I'm sick. I've lost who I was. I have lost the only thing that I ever, that ever brought me joy. And I didn't even realize how much of it I had lost until maybe a year ago when I started realizing I'm just, I'm just ugly and dark all the time. I don't know where this is going, man. My husband's not happy with me. My family isn't happy with me. I'm trying to visit my friends I used to have for years. And it's like I don't know them. And the person that, that they think they know, I don't know if that person exists anymore. All I am is, is, is a collection of dissident ideas and dissident rage now. And I have no outlet for that in my life. Because... Every time that I try to talk about Go Free stuff, or the news, or politics, or anything that matters with anyone in my life, they don't want to hear it. They're sick of it. They just don't want to hear it. And so, that's why, years ago, I gave up on that and wanted to try to get them to do positive things. 
like starting a garden or a little farm or getting chickens or building a chicken coop or doing anything that has to do with making a new business or starting a local church or doing anything community-based. And no one in my life wants to do any of that either. So what was it all for? What was me sacrificing that joyous person I used to be and fighting this goddamn war? What was it worth for me? Nothing. I'm worse for it. My life isn't better for it. Yes, I know things now, and I understand things, and I'm glad that I wasn't made worse and pulled into doing other worse things with my life in my 20s than I was. I'm thankful for that, and I'm glad that I've been able to to make a channel that's partially successful and can get ideas like on Empire of Lies with Chris out to people. I'm glad about that, but I'm not happy. I'm miserable. I'm empty. I don't know how to fix this. I don't know how to fix me. I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I've lost what used to bring me joy. I've lost it. I'm not an artist anymore. I'm not a painter anymore. I'm not a writer anymore. What am I? I'm an angry voice in the void of the internet. That's it. I'm like a ghost to my family. I'm a stranger to my husband. And I'm a stranger to my friends. And worst of all, I'm not happy. I don't have joy. I don't have joy. I don't have passions anymore. It's all gone. What happened to me? I became consumed with this war. With this never-ending series of psyops and misdirection and media lies and political circus and and all the just the disgusting evils of both monetary and cultural globalization just this erasure of white people and white culture and the the destruction of the concept of national sovereignty or ethnic sovereignty like i've become so obsessed with all of this it has overwritten every part of me and I think the last person to realize this is me. Is me. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know how to fix this. I don't know how to get back what I had. I've been talking to my husband about it, and he doesn't know either. He just says he hopes things will get better. And he hopes that I will... He says come back to reality, but... I view that I'm the only one trying to move towards reality. Everyone else has got their head in the sand. But I know he means well when he says the things he says. Because he knows I'm kind of crazy and unstable. I just don't know. I don't know. I don't want to stop doing what I do because I don't know anything else now. All I am is this. This. And, and making content. That's no life. That's no joy for me. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I just don't know. I don't... I want to live a life that is joyous and happy and fulfilling. And the people in my life do it. But I can't anymore. Because I view, all, I view them as being blind, deaf, dumb, and retarded. Because they haven't gone down the path of learning shit of, of, of what's actually going on. And they reject my teachings to them. They don't want to know. They don't want to think that everything is lies or that the government or the media lies to them every day. They don't want to think that things as core to their identity as like Founding Fathers Antebellum America shit is, is wrong or that World War II history is all fake. Like, not all fake, but largely fake in, in certain big ways. They don't want to hear any of that. They also don't want to hear about white erasure. They don't want to hear about how anti-white commercials have gotten. They just don't want to hear it. Because they don't watch commercials anyway. So what the fuck am I doing with my life then? I've destroyed every everything about me in trying to understand and, and engage with this horrible war against my country and my people. And I've lost everything to it. So what was the fucking point for me? What was the point for me? I haven't gotten anything out of this. If anything, I've lost everything to this. I've lost myself. I've lost my friends. I've lost my family and house and, and friend circle I had out west. 
They killed one of our family dogs. I lost everything. I lost my volunteer work. I lost my profession. I lost everything to this. And I have nothing to show for it but pain and losing myself to this. I have lost in this war. Everything has been taken from me. Internally, I mean. I still have family. I'm not poor. I mean, I'm poor by most people's standards, but I can pay bills and I can eat. And I have people who love me. So that in and of itself is wonderful and I'm deeply thankful for at least that. But man, I have lost myself to this. Like I started thinking about it. The last time I actually sat down and wrote like anything creative as like a D&D &D campaign was four years ago and I didn't even finish. It's just notes. I just started it. And like it was like just a vestigial memory or a reflex. And then it was gone again. That was over four years ago. I haven't actually done anything great since like eight or nine years ago. Like anything I would consider noteworthy for artwork or for writing. I used to live for that. I used to wake up wanting to do that. And I can't even remember a time now when that was the case. What has happened to me? I've become consumed with this never-ending culture war stuff. I gotta fix myself, or I'm just, or I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm tired of being miserable and empty and alone in my life every day. I have no support at all. My husband, my friends, my family, they don't wanna hear about this shit. It's all that I think about now and they don't wanna hear about any of it, they reject it. So what am I gonna do? I don't know, but, I don't know. I'm fucked up. I'm a fucked up person. Don't be like me. Make better choices than I did. Choose better people to make your life about than I did. Choose your wives, your husbands carefully. Choose your communities and church groups carefully. Make your life about investing in other people and community. Not what I did. I made wrong choices these last 10 or 12 years. And I made stupid choices in my 20s when I was younger. I've already talked about those a whole lot. But now I'm talking about older, wiser stuff. About realizing how much of myself I've lost to this. Don't do that. Don't make my mistakes. You have to let this culture war stuff go, man. Or at least, maybe you're different from me and you don't have an obsessive mind. I clearly have an obsessive mind and this has been bad for me. I wish I could go back to obsessing about video games and D&D &D products and the shit I used to be obsessed about when I was a young nerd. I wish I could go back to that. Because, man, I'm just, I'm just a joyless, miserable mess these days. I got nothing. And I hurt. I go to bed sad and I wake up sad. And I don't, I don't want to live this way anymore. I don't know what I'm going to do. It's real pretty here, so we're going to stop here for the day. I know I've talked a long time. Let's look at how pretty it is. Sure is beautiful out here, isn't it? I especially like this house here. It's so pretty. All right. Well, I uh, hope you guys have the best week you can. I hope that... Like always, my words and my passion will influence you to make good decisions with your life. And uh, just do the best you can. That's all any of us can do. I'll see you Thursday night for Empire of Lies. Goodbye. God bless everybody.